With an increasing prevalence of obesity, there is a need for new therapies to improve body weight management and metabolic health. Our group, the QL Bell Farm, is committed to the development of the innovative biological drugs for the treatment of metabolic diseases. Polypharmaceutical approaches may fulfill this unmet medical need. Both GRP1 and GDF15 show food intake reduction effects through central nervous system, but the exact mechanism is largely distinct. GLP-1 receptor is widely expressed in numerous sites across CNS, including hyperthalamus and hindbrain. But GDF-15 receptor was only expressed at hindbrain. Even within the same nuclei, GDF-15 and GLP-1 do not activate the same neuronal populations. And these largely distinct receptor systems may lead to complementary effects on energy balance. In this study, we developed GLP-1 GDF-15 hybrid molecule QL-1905 with balanced pathway activation. Structurally, the GLP-1 variant is fused with a peptide linker to the N-terminus of the GDF-15 analog. Furthermore, the molecule contains chemically conjugated C18 fatty acid for the purpose of time action projection. We firstly tested QL-1905 in two mouse models diet-induced obese mice and diabetic DBDB mice, and compared QL-105 weight loss efficacy and its impact on other metabolic parameters using semaglutide and long-acting GDI-15 variant as head-to-head -head activity benchmarks. In diet-induced obese mice, QL-105 demonstrated dose-dependent weight loss, normalization of hypoglycemia, and reductions in plasma triglycerides. Notably, these effects were more pronounced at substantially lower doses of QL-105 compared to semaglutide. In DBDB mice, QL-105 was profiled for bad activity against semaglutide and long-acting GDF-15. In this study, QL-105 outperformed comparators in reducing body weights and fasting glucose levels. We next wondered contributions of each active arm in this coagnist to the observed pharmacological effect. To study that, two additional compounds in which either GRP1 or GDF15 activities were knocked out were generated, and functional tests in DIO mice conducted. The in vivo efficacy of this variance was comparable but reduced to approximately 50% of that of QL105 delivery. And this data suggests that our candidate molecule QL105 is indeed an activity balanced dual organist. More importantly, the majority of pharmacological effects observed in rodent models is translated to obese xenomorgus monkeys, where QL105 reduces body weight, food intake, insulin, and glucose in a dose dependent manner with a limited incidence of GI side effects. Furthermore, the terminal half-life of this dual organist was found to be about 41 hours in monkey. This is comparable to semaglutide in this species, indicating that QL-105 is likely suitable for once weekly or even less frequent dosing in humans. In summary, the preclinical data in our study demonstrate that our activity balanced GRP1 GDF15 dual organist QL105 may represent an efficacious and safe approach to treat obesity and associated morbidities. Whether its superior metabolic effects in animals will translate to humans is worth of further investigations and will be reviewed in the near future.